Latest update from Mauritius on Cyclone Birgitta. As of 6pm on January the 16th, it had winds of 100 miles per hour and a pressure of 967 millibars at 18.4 degrees south, 61.1 east. The storm has been struggling a little more recently, although it still remains strong. 100 mile an hour winds, that's 160 kilometers per hour, and Class 2 warnings are in effect for Mauritius, which will be upgraded to Class 3 first thing tomorrow morning. On the forecast, you can see now what is expected. Uh, the model's probably shifting just ever so slightly further south now, uh, affecting Mauritius, possibly a direct landfall, and then passing just south of Reunion Island uh, in the middle and later part of the week. By Saturday, Sunday, the storm should, hopefully, be long gone. Hopefully after not delivering too much damage, but uh, unfortunately it does still look like this storm will be very dangerous indeed. Uh, here it is right now, the wind field is getting rather large, especially on the southern side, probably reaching Mauritius just about already. It's a CDPS stage 4, which could cause extensive damage, and uh, of course rainfall amounts could also uh, rise significantly too, and flooding concerns may also be put on the agenda. Well, this is what we expect in storm conditions over the next few days, since they're probably already occurring or soon to be in parts of Mauritius. Those chances are pretty much assured that there's going to be stormy weather there. Whether they reach hurricane force is another question. Uh, there's a significant chance of that happening as well. Um, and wind speeds may well gust above 150 to 200 kilometers per hour, depending on how strong the storm still is by the time it actually gets there. As you can see, by the weekend, it's really long gone and the chances of anything will be much reduced. Well, let's take a look at the sea surface temperatures. <clears throat> Here is the current temperatures, no change from yesterday, really. Uh, 27s and 28s there, more than enough to sustain a significant tropical cyclone like this one. Since the wind shear graphics aren't working at the moment, we've got the rain rate. Uh, this is the rainfall accumulation in the last 24 hours, and you can see most of the rain has stayed away from the islands, uh, but near the storm centre you're seeing 7 and 8 inches of rain falling there each 24 hours. Here's how it's been looking on the satellite then. This is the visible imagery from over the course of today. You can see how the storm's been progressing, still moving at a snail's pace towards the islands. The infrared imagery tells us a little bit more about its eye structure, or lack of. Uh, it's been really struggling since we did our updates last night. The eye collapsed overnight, and then the storm has been struggling ever since. But it still has strong winds, 100 miles an hour, 160 kilometers per hour, and higher gusts, of course. And here is the water vapour imagery still battling dry air on the western side, but the storm is overcoming it, and it could still intensify before reaching the islands, so stay tuned. You could follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, which is still under construction at this time, but do check it out. You can also find us on YouTube, search Force 13, subscribe if you haven't already. You can also find us on Facebook, add a like on there, Force 13 is the name, and you can also follow us on Twitter, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also add our Skype account, which is under the same name, or add my personal account on Discord, Fool13, and extension 9094. You can also follow our partner channel, Matteo A. Cyclo Maurice, on Facebook. Links in the description.